All right. Today we're going to do Unit 1, Lesson 16, More Symmetry. So first we've got irregular polygons all have lines of symmetry, as we noticed in our uh, classwork today. Um, they also have rotational symmetry. So any shape can rotate 360 degrees. 360 degrees is if I go all the way and then back where I started from. Okay? And so if I've got a regular hexagon, we know that if I rotate it here at 60 degrees, then it will be back where it started. So, but I could also rotate it 120 degrees, 180 degrees would be uh, like a mirror image, and we can keep, keep rotating it multiples of 60 <clears throat> until we get to 360. Uh, we can also rotate a triangle 120 degrees and it'll be back where it's at. And if I rotate it another two, um, 120 degrees, I'm back where I started. And if I multiply it another 120 degrees, I'm, I'm, I've got, I'm back where I've started. So each time, so I could rotate it, if I know this angle here, then I can rotate it um, that times an integer. Same thing here, square. I could rotate it 90 degrees, I can rotate it 180 degrees, I can rotate it an additional 90 degrees, I can rotate it an additional 90 degrees. So that leads up to developing a formula. <clears throat> Having a regular shape with n number of sides, I could rotate it um, 360 divided by n to get the degrees to rotate. And then I can multiply that by an integer. In integer. So let's look back at our examples here. How could I have gotten, another way could I have gotten 60? So if I did 360 divided by, how many sides are there? Six. So divided by six, and I get, what do you know? 60 degrees. What about this? If I do 360 divided by how many sides do I have? Three. Da 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 da! 120. How about 360 divided by 4? We get 90. Okay, let's pretend that we've got a pentagon. then I could rotate it, what, 360 divided by 5, and then what do we get? 360 divided by 5, and then I, I know that I can rotate it um, 72 degrees. Now what's 72 times 2? I could also rotate it 144 degrees. What's 72 times 3? I could rotate it to um, 16. Oh, I can't wait. To 16 degrees. What's 72 times 4? To 88 degrees. And 72 times 5, I bet you can make a guess, is 360. So if I take 360 divided by the number of sides, then that, then the, if I rotate it that amount, and then um, then I will get the shape back where it started. And I could do that as many times as the number of sides. So since there's five sides, I can rotate it five different possibilities in order to get it onto back where it started. Okay. GIM Unit uh, 1, Chapter 17, working with rigid transformation. So to get from point A to point B, I could rotate it 360. I could also reflect it on this line. Okay. To transform it to CD, 
I could reflect it on the perpendicular bisector of CD. So a perpendicular bisector would probably be around there, which is halfway between here and here. So this would be the perpendicular bisector. So if I uh, reflected it on the perpendicular bisector, then uh, I could get it from here to there to there. But A, B, this is not the same length, so it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, I couldn't reflect it on that. Okay, there are two shapes um, that are congruent, then um, and the same size and same shape. Then there is always a way to transform them. So if I've got uh, this shape right here, and it's somewhere else over here, and it's the same size, there's always a way, either rotating it, reflecting, and translating, which just means move it up and down. Okay. And that is it for the notes.